a beautiful sunny day here in Riga, Latvia. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Claire Hawkins. I'm a traveling singer-songwriter, and I'm currently on a journey through the Baltic countries here in Eastern Europe. In my last video, I shared my first impressions of this gorgeous country, and today, we're gonna be diving into some of the top things to do here in Riga. There is so much to see in this beautiful city, and we have the perfect weather, so it's gonna be a very good day. Behind me is our first stop of the day. This is St. Peter's Church. It was originally built at the end of the 15th century, but it has been actually rebuilt and renovated several times since then. One very exciting thing about this church is that it is the tallest church in Riga, and you can actually climb up the tower and get an amazing view of the city. So that's what we're gonna do. wondering, yes, it is windy. <laughs> The hair is looking a little crazy after that wind, but that was so much fun. I think this is an absolute must. As long as you're all right with heights, this is definitely a must do here in Riga. It's not a lot of steps. This is true. Because of the elevator, it's not an intense elevator. climb, which is really nice. Because I don't like climbing. <laughs> We've made it to our next stop, which is Riga Central Market. This is the largest covered market in Europe and a definite must do when you're here in Riga. The distance from Old Town is quite short, so you can walk it if you prefer, but the tram was pretty cool, so I do recommend riding it at least once while you're here. As soon as you enter the market, it's a bit overwhelming. Not only do you have so many food options, but the building itself is quite impressive. There are actually five different pavilions that together make up Riga's central market. These structures were originally military airship hangars that Latvia purchased from Germany after the war to repurpose into this market. If you're wondering, this pickle was 41 cent, which is not bad. <laughs> We're back in the central pavilion where they have so many different food stands from all over the world. There's all different types of cuisine. I did try to go for something a little bit local, so I've gone for some dumplings here. I'm really excited about it. I think it's 15 pieces for five euro, so definitely very affordable, and I think they're gonna be delicious. So I got the chicken dumplings and Jer has gone for a cheborek. It essentially looks like a big empanada. Well, <laughs> it's good, it's hot, it's good. <laughs> If you're traveling through the Baltics, you'll notice quite a lot of amber. It's a really popular souvenir here because it's so prevalent in this part of the world. You'll see them pretty much anywhere, but obviously this market is one great place to get some. We just took the most beautiful tram ride along the canals here. We got to see the Victory Monument, which is a very famous statue here in Riga. And now we're headed over to Albert Street to look at some Art Nouveau architecture.
We've made it here to our next stop of the day, which is the gorgeous Alberta Street here in Riga. Riga as a city is known for being kind of an architecture lover's dream because there's so many different styles to see. However, the most notable is probably the Art Nouveau style, and this street is a great place to see it. The street was built in the year 1901, and it was named after Bishop Albert, who founded Riga in the year 1201. The buildings are just absolutely gorgeous, and a nice stroll down this street is a great way to fill your day here in Riga. We just stopped for a coffee and a little treat, and now we're headed to a boat tour. The canals and the parks are just too pretty here. We want to see them close up and be on a boat. <laughs> I just want you to notice that I'm not hiding anymore. And the honest truth is what I am living for. It's so cool to be passing by all these places that we've visited in our two days here. Like for instance, that's a central market. Sadly, the boat tour is over. It was an hour long. It was just really so much fun and so beautiful. A really, really cool way to see the city. Now, obviously, I couldn't leave this video without one more very important thing to do here in Riga, which is eat. <laughs> so we are headed to dinner. Singing a little bit louder. Standing a little bit taller. pretty excited about our dinner location. This place is an old wine cellar turned restaurant that serves Latvian pub food. So we just sat down, ordered some ciders, and I'm already obsessed with this place. The decor here is truly amazing and the food smells so good. I'm really, really excited. I ordered Latvian meatballs, which I haven't had yet. I think they're gonna be really good. And I ordered the chicken feather. And I'm very excited about it. Um, oh, and I'm going to get traditional Latvian garlic bread because I want to see if it's different to normal garlic bread. I will say, this is one of the things I love about travel. We ordered garlic bread and I thought it was going to look like what I think garlic bread looks like. But of course, it's completely different. I think it's going to be delicious. Let's try it. I can't go back to having more garlic bread now. The sun is setting on a perfect day here in Riga, so I will take this chance to say thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this video was helpful if you're making plans to come to Riga. I can't recommend this city enough. I've just had the best time here. Please make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't. I am headed to Lithuania next, so there are more fun videos coming next week. If you liked the music in this video, it is, as always, one of my original songs, which you can find linked in the video description or on any music streaming service by searching Claire Hawkins. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Foreign